On today's episode of Slab Reveals, we show which card we made $800 in profit on and which one we lost nearly 50% of our money on. Now, all of them can't be winners, but the most important part is getting quick turnaround times. And on today's episode, we got our fastest turnaround time yet with an SGC submission. It's a great episode. We hope you all enjoy. This is Slab Reveals number four. So before getting into today's new slab reveals, talking about the cards we graded, how fast they're graded, and the projected profit, let's look back at episode three from last reveal, and we have some actual sh uh, some actual sales to share here. So if you look and see the bolded numbers on the screen, those are sales that have been sold, and uh, we know how much profit is in return on them. So we'll start at the top here with the best profit card from the last reveal, and it, and it is the Andre Vasilevsky. Um, the green PMG SGC 8.5, which at one point was great and authentic, we sent it back in. We said, hey, take a look at this 2020 metal PMG set. Um, and in fact, yeah, the sizes were just a little bit smaller on all the cards. So they did get a numerical grade, 8.5 on that. Sold for a huge 1219, and that is after fees for us. We sold it through the PWCC weekly auction number 19. Did extremely well. Perfect timing with the Lightning just sweeping the Panthers. Now they're up against the Rangers um, in the Eastern Conference Finals for the NHL playoffs. But 1219, 819 profit, 204% ROI is huge. Going right below that, we already talked about the Lewis Hamilton last episode. We've not sold the uh, Esteban Akon uh, Gold Sapphire at 59.5 yet. But the Leon Dry sale sold for $13.25 um, after fees to us, which is a great sale. is $95 in profit. So really the sale was over $1,500, but after fees, of course, we get a little bit, a little bit lower than that. Um, the Korean Adeyemi was actually revealed in Episode 2, but we just sold it, so I put it into here. Um, $151 it got after fees, $71 in profit, 89% ROI. Uh, was great on that one. And then the two that took a loss, though, was the Shea Gilgis Alexander, the Gold Prism. I was hoping it'd sell a little bit better, end up going for 546. I think if it got an SGC 9, that would have turned into profit. It was a gamble, given that the centering was off top to bomb. Was hoping for 9, got an 8.5. All things considered, though, $89 loss isn't too bad. And then, of course, we did sell the SGC 6 with the 10 out of Jordan Lawler. Uh, we sent it to be sold as is the SGC 6, hoping that it'd sell pretty well. And honestly, Hard to complain about $364 uh, in uh, sales after it got an SGC 6. It's a $260 loss, but it is what it is. Um, I'm still not exactly sure what was wrong with the car, but maybe someone else will find out um, once they receive it. So that was a 42% loss. All things considered here, based on the projected sales of the non-bolded ones, um, and then the ones we actually did sell, we are looking at um, a 100, or sorry, not 100, $1,400 $1, in total profit. 28% um, ROI, which is not too bad considering we got SGC6, and we gave away that Hamilton Refractor, which wasn't a great purchase in the first put, uh, place. So learn from that. You know, gave it away minus $430 there, which technically isn't really minus $430, but you know, better be on the conservative side and just mark it as it is. That's what we got though for episode three recap. Honestly, pretty pretty good. That Veselevsky definitely helped a lot make up for the six and the Lewis Hamilton giveaway. Now let's check out and see what we have for today's episode in Slab Reveals number four. Of course, for every Slab Reveals video, one of the most important parts is to look at how long did it take for SGC to grade the giving cards that we sent in. And as you can see right here, this order that we submitted that we're that we are revealing today. We submitted it on May 10th. Like that's the day I put through the forms online, packaged up the package and sent it out. Now this is when the package was delivered at SGC. So we submitted it on May 10th. It was delivered on May 13th. And let's look and see when it was graded by. Boom, right there, May 19th. It was graded, sent back our way. That is extremely, extremely, extremely fast. It's the fastest we've ever had a $30 submission go through SGC at. Like that is unbelievably fast. If you look at delivered on May 13th, that's a Friday, so let's count that as one business day. Two is the 16th, three, 17th, four, 18th, and the fifth is the 19th. It was already shipped back to us. That's five, five business days it took for this package to go through SGC. Unbelievable turnaround time for an unbelievable cost. Um, just great all the way around. Now let's hop in and see if the order paid off from what we submitted. Before hopping into the reveal, I want to bring up three cards here that I picked up this past weekend at VCon, and I'm extremely excited 
to be sending these into SGC for a couple of reasons. There's three cards here that I think are unique, rare, and exciting in terms of the Lamella Ball and the Mike Trout. And the, honestly, all of them are exciting. The Serena Williams is a super exciting and awesome card. We'll start here with the Mike Trout, though. It is a 2009 Bowman Platinum on-card autograph here with the bold auto of Mike Trout. A lot of these are streaking and fading. This one is bold. Now, this card does not pick up very well on camera because it's so foily. Um, and under the light, it just makes it look a little darker, too, which is interesting. But super nice card. There are a few uh, condition issues. This bottom left corner here is a little dinged. And on the back, the centering is off. So I'm fully expecting um, to get lower than a 9 here. I'm hoping an 8 or 8.5. I don't know how bad that front corner ding is going to affect it. But be really happy with an SGC 8 with a 10 autograph here. Especially because so many of the autographs will not get a 10. The next card is this 2020 Prism Purple Ice Lamella, Lamella Ball. Someone in front of me at VCon pulled this, walked up, and said, Hey, uh, do I have anything good here in, in my stack of cards? And of course, I told him this card is amazing. Uh, the only problem with this card is that it is off center top to bottom and on the back there are corner dings on the top left and on the bottom right and i fully expect this one as well to get an eight or worse so there is risk involved with both of these so i was not going to pay top dollar for these raw cards for that reason that both of these cards do have risk with grading to even get below an eight and i'm not saying that they're going to get below an eight but the risk is there for sure uh this last one 2003 serena williams dual jersey um authentic Match worn uh, jerseys right there. Rookie card from 2003. This card is amazing. So many of these Serena Williams cards from 2003 Net Pro with the jersey relics in them or the autographs on them, which there was a record sale for like 260 some thousand dollars of a jersey dual auto of her rookie. I got this one for a pretty nice price, and this is the perfect card to get great with SGC. Extremely hard to find this card. People are going to buy this card, um, even if it gets an SGC 8 or 8.5. There is some corner damage on the top left. Um, this one could be eh, on the top right. I was going to say this one maybe has a chance at a 9, but I do think it'll probably be like an 8.5. Uh, but I'm really excited about those cards, but now let's get into the submission reveal for the 10 cards we just got back. Uh, here we are, tuxedo time once again. Super pumped for this. Now, I know that a couple of these are probably not going to grade super well. There's a pure gasoline here, which is an orange wave out of 25. Um, you had to spoil one of the cards that's going to be in this submission. That did have quite... I'm having a hard time getting this thing open right now. All right, there we go. It did have quite the uh, interesting mark on the front of the card, like one that... I don't know, it could grade extremely poorly. We saw ourselves get a SGC 6 on that Jordan Lawler, and I might see it again with this Pierre Gasly. We'll see. Um, bought it raw on eBay, and what can he do? I mean, it's a, uh, that's the risk you take with buying raw cards. So here we go, the first card that's going to be revealed. I think it might be the Orange Wave. Ooh, okay. Ooh. All right, it's an 8.5. We'll take it. That is not that bad for that card. This is the Orange Wave True Portrait uh, 25. Uh, beautiful looking card right there. But man, I was really worried. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it. I'll have to take it out of the bag. But it's like right where my right thumb is right there. There's just a surface indent. And do th or it's not even like an indent. It almost looked like something's like stuck under the surface of the card. But that is indeed why that card got an 8.5. Uh, but hey, I'll take it. Next up is a Mick Schumacher Purple F399 that ends up with an SGC9. Uh, this one was actually graded for our intern right here, Julian, who was on the Slab Sex Live show from uh, maybe the past Monday. And uh, this one, he's going to be really happy to see that for sure. That's a nice grade. We have an Esteban Ocon Sapphire of 99 Aqua. So most of these are Formula 1. There are, is, I think, a couple baseball in here, though. So stay tuned if you're anything but a Formula 1 fan, I suppose. There might even be a basketball. I can't even remember what's all in here. Can we get a 9.5? Oh, a 10. That's big time. It looked really clean. I'm super excited to send this one in, and it gets a 10. That is our first 10 in so long here on the SGC Slab Reveals. Uh, I'm I'm really, really excited about that one. And we have a Charles Leclerc 70th goal. Can we get a 9.5? And we do. That was what the hope was on that one. A 9.5. Sorry for the glare on these. A 9.5 gold 70th. Whew, I'm excited about that one. This is turning out to be a pretty good submission so far. We've got an Aqua Lando Norse. I really thought this one could get a 10 also. A 9.5. I'm happy with it. It's hard to complain about 9.5s. They do so really well. Uh, getting that 9.5 to be an opportunity with SGC with the min plus is massive. We've had a lot of cards that don't get that 10, but we do still make profit on, like the Lewis Hamilton Gold out of 50 um, that we sold in the past episode. You all saw that sold for like $1,300. It was 9.5. That was a massive sale. The, so this is the Pierre Gasly, uh, number, number out of 70. This is the 70th anniversary portrait as well. Can we get a 10? A 9. Okay, so that one hit a 9. Obviously, I was hoping for a 9.5, but 
still, that's a good grade. A mint is super solid. Ocon 70th. So the same card, but for Ocon. And I think that this one looked pretty clean. A 9.5. We will take that one as well. So we've only got one thing that's under 9 so far, which was that Gasly uh, Orange Wave out 25. And our Pedri, this is the orange and yellow electric soccer card here. Can we scoop a 10? And we do. We get the 10. So if you know, I mean, uh, SGC does give out gold label 10s. And we have not hit a gold level, label 10 yet. But we will be on the search in the future. That's for a pristine grade. This is just a gem in 10. Next up is, I'm, I'm a little worried about this one. I mean, this one might be like an 8.5 or a 9. This is a, a Pusher, or Pusher, I should say. Um Let's hope for a 10 autograph. We have a 10 auto. And a 9. Okay, so mint 9. I'm happy with that. I thought I could have gotten an 8.5 potentially, but we'll take the 9 on that. That's a pretty good card of the F2. Uh, I think he's still in the lead of F2. And now here we have Gavin Lux. This is a Bowman Chrome auto. It's got a 10 auto, and it pulls a 9.5. We will take that. We were looking at potentially scooping one of these. I was already graded on our Flipcast Quest episode the other week. But guess what? We went with a raw... Paid $30 a grade, a guy 9.5, and much happier with that spend. Uh, overall, man, that was actually pretty dang good. Pretty dang good indeed. The 9.5, this thing looks amazing. The Atomic Auto, especially in the SGC, the Tuxedo Holder. And I think that probably the best cards uh, from the entire submission, well, I mean, how can you complain about getting a 10 on a Sapphire Formula 1 card? I mean, that's amazing right there, the Ocon Sapphire 10. And I would say this Leclerc game 9.5 is a really nice one too. It's not serial number. It's short printed. It's the 70th gold. Um, but I think that this one uh, could do pretty well, especially hopefully, you know, Ferrari, he doesn't have that uh, engine failure again and he keeps pushing. But even to get nines and 9.5s on the other, the Lando is nice. Uh, only one 8.5 this entire submission, which I very much so expected with that service mark. But I'll take that. And then if you look at the uh, Pedri to get another 10, we got two 10s in the submission. I'm super excited about that and happy with it. Uh, now let's go and look at what the sales and projected profit could be on these cards. So there it is, the next Slab Reveals uh, reveal, and here we are to look at the profit that came, or that might come out of the cards we just got graded. So overall, I was really happy with the submission, as you heard. Uh, and the first card I think that will probably make us the most would be the uh, Ocon, that is the Aqua of 99 SGC 10. So hard to get gem mint on those Formula 1 Sapphire cards. So very happy with that. I think it can probably pull around $500, which would be a really nice $258 in profit. So let's hope that that can happen. Uh, the Pierre Gasly at dig in 8.5 was a pretty good buy, in my opinion, on the Orange Wave out 25, because since then, a raw Gold Wave out 50 sold for like 600 So I'm pretty conservatively there and put 700 I um, mean, it is a tough grade in general, this set. So an 8.5 isn't really that bad in my opinion um and then the 70th uh number dot 70 sgc9 put around 500 for 140 in profit the pedri the sgc10 orange and yellow electric wave the reason why i have it in here as light blue is that this card we will actually not be selling we already did give it away on whatnot um to our soccer collectors and fans over there and uh, the reason why we gave it away is because this card i actually hit with a pedri auto from matt's packs uh, shout out to matt and we decided to pass it on, get it graded, pass it on. And um, but if we did actually like buy this card raw, get it graded, it would have been like around fifty bucks, thirty dollars for grading. I project around two hundred dollars in sales, which is pretty conservative, um, one hundred twenty in profit. And then the next one is the Ocon, the seventieth, um, uh, seventy-nine point five, put around three fifty there, one hundred fifteen in profit. Lando Norris Aqua SGC nine point five, another one that's over hundred dollars in profit and expectations. In reality, it might be lower. We'll have to see an update when we do eventually sell these. Probably not quite yet. And then, then, then the Gavin Lux Atomic. Uh, we put around forty dollars in profit there, around two hundred dollars in sales. Expecting, I uh, can't say for sure. Obviously, trying to play conservative on most of these numbers. Um, some of the F1 numbers might be a little bit ambitious right now, but we'll see. Uh, playing holding it was a little bit longer, and then the uh, Charles Leclerc got. Uh, we put around one hundred and fifty on projected sale with twenty dollars in profit. That could end up being higher if he can uh, actually win some more races here, like he should have in Monaco. Uh, Red Bull's strategy was terrible, and he should have gotten the win. I was really hoping he was going to. But, you know, maybe maybe in the future you can get some more wins and that can go up in price. And then uh, the Pusher or Pusher, um, I'm not super confident in this one because he's not leading F2 anymore. And it did get an SGC 910, so it's not the best grade. Um, obviously, I was hoping for a 9.5. There was some damage on the back, so expectations weren't crazy. Paid a little bit too much for a 2. But there we are with a projected sale around 300. Given that all these numbers 
uh, do shake out, we're looking at around $854 in profits, which is 37% ROI, not too bad. The total cost of these cards was way lower than what the previous episode was. The cost was more, um, so the ROI was actually lower in the previous episode, but the total profit was higher. Uh, the, the thing I do have to say, though, is that through all the different things in the sports car marketplace right now, you know, ripping packs is probably your worst ROI. All that's normally done for fun, as it has been for years and years, and got me into card collecting in general. Um, it, it is a key, important part to card collecting, though, and uh, learning about the hobby, which is why I think it's so important in general. But when it's just strictly about the numbers, buying, selling, do you buy raw? Do you buy graded? Do you grade your cards? Like this right here is the best we've been doing opportunity wise for buying, selling, and making a little money along the way. Um, over the last you know six months or so, like all these different slab reveals videos, um, just about every single one were coming out at the end of the video in the positive, the green on the profit side. After actually selling the cards, it's turned out even better in some scenarios, like the Lewis Hamilton and the Andre Vasilevsky, which is awesome to see. And I would say right now, if you are looking for opportunity in the sports car marketplace and are finding it more challenging than in the past, which it 100% is more challenging to make money now than it was a year ago, a year and a half ago, for a multitude of different reasons, um, both you know the sports car market, the global economy, all these different things. I really, really do suggest looking into this, uh, you know, grading with SEC, selling some of the cards through PWCC, um, or even however, if you go to a show, whatever it is, um, buying some of my friends. It it's just has been a really solid way for us to get um, some cards graded and sold in pretty decent, I say pretty decent, super quick time frame. As you can see, this submission here is now five days, five business days for a submission at $30 a card. I really think that you know, there's really no better option at all out there. And yes, we are partners with SGC, but we are doing this because we believe in it and it shows right here through the numbers that it is working. And it's all about card selection as well. Definitely target um, cards that people want in general outside of just what the grade is. I think that's the best way to go about it. Um, no matter what you're doing or grading or selling or buying, it's got to be cards that people want to collect and have and, and hold in their collection for a certain amount of time. Um, base cards, depending on what it is, just don't really cut it. Um, anymore, especially when, you know, there can be as cheap as a dollar. Um, it just doesn't really make sense to pay money to get them graded, but you know, you can see what we're doing, maybe dig into our journey more, watch the previous episodes, see what type of cards we're grading, apply it to the sports, the categories, the non-sport that you like, probably the best way to go for yourself, but that's just our experience. I know everyone else's experience are a little bit different along the way, but take it for what it's worth. I highly recommend and can't wait to see how slab reveals number five turns out and how quick that one gets graded. Uh, really excited. If you have any questions on SGC Grant, all please drop them in the comments and we can try to respond to those and let you know if you all have any questions. Other than that, thank you all for watching SGC Slab Reveals number four, and I will see you all in the next episode. Hey.